Bradenton-based Bell's Department Stores are turning 100 years old. The retailer has undergone many changes through the years, and leading them into the next 100 is Department Stores President Lorna Nagler. Well, I've been with Bell's about four years, and you know, um, what's great about um, in my role is really touch everything in the company. So whether it be the, the product, the marketing, um, the spirit of the company, the culture of the company, um, and you know, it's a wonderful time to be part of a company that's celebrating its 100th anniversary. Bell's first opened downtown as a dollar limit store in 1915. Then in 1956, Bell's opened in the Westgate Shopping Center. Today, Bell's has more than 70 department stores in Florida that Nagler oversees. Walking in the door um, and being this iconic retailer, um, you know, we hadn't uh, kept up uh, and maybe kept up with our customers' demands. So uh, the, the thing, the journey that we started with was how do we update Bell's? How do we keep what's special about Bell's special, but how do we innovate and give newness to our customer? And we've been on a journey to localize our assortments, so we're buying a little bit differently by store location, um, to edit our assortments so we can really make uh, things bigger and amplify the, the messages that we want to be and really take the approach that Bell's really is a specialist uh, and not a generalist. The history and longevity of the family-owned company is not lost on Nagler as she strives to make changes. It's really kind of a gift to be in a company like this. There aren't many retailers that can say they've been around but what I think it means to me is there's a great values. Um, you know, what they do is really um, all about what's doing right, uh, what's right for the customer, what's right for the business. Um, they really um, take a great um, interest. Um, it's not about Wall Street, it's about Main Street and what's doing right for the customers. When Nagler is at Bell's headquarters, located south of Bradenton, she uses her merchandising background to focus on stocking what Floridians want to buy. Salt Life and Guy Harvey and Real Legends of Columbia really epitomize what Bell's is all about. And so how do we come in, how can we make them bigger? How could we do shops? So you're seeing um, new fixtures um, to really um, get that brand message across. And I think this really distinguishes us in the marketplace. For today's shopper, carrying brand names isn't enough. We localize our assortments better than anybody else. Um, as a big chain, and I've worked for national chains, it's very difficult. We have the ability to be nimble and to be smarter about what really that Florida lifestyle is. And it's very different, Sarasota to Jacksonville to the Panhandle, and the nuances of the assortment and the brands that are relevant um, is something we've really been focused on since I've got here to think differently and to think uniquely about each in individual store. Nagler and Bells are betting that changes will pay off and hope that customers keep coming back for the next 100 years. Well, perfect day at Bells is uh, the registers are ringing, the customers are happy, um, and we're surprised and delighting um, everybody that comes into our store. For Bradenton.com and the Bradenton Herald, I'm Charles Shalee.